Here's a question for you. What happens when you mix the L plates, the bunny ears, the strippers and the showgirls with a different well-known celebrity each week? Answer, you get celebrity hens and stags. stag industry is worth a staggering £500 million a year. That's a lot of L plates. Leading the way is Brighton-based company Red 7. My name's Steve, I work for Red 7. What we do in Brighton is we take hens and stags around on their hen and stag weekends. We basically help and guide them to have the best weekend possible. And our two celebrities today will make sure there's never a dull moment. This weekend we've got the lovely Neil and Christine Hamilton. The mixture of the two of them will be a great mixture, which will be a sort of rough and smooth that will make a, a nice mixture in the middle. There are 20 girls. Uh, they've got a boat cruise on Saturday afternoon where they'll be touring the Brighton coastline. Following that, they've got the Adonis Cabaret as well, which is a comedy mail strip show. So we need to make sure that they're picked up on time, that the transfers are in the correct times and the correct places, and make sure they have the best send-off possible. Any good rep has to overcome the meeting, make, make sure it's a great meeting at first, get the girls on their side. They have to make sure that they um, get on the good side of the Chief's Bridesmaid and the Bride straight away. But once Neil and Christine start talking to them and mingling with them, they'll find out that they actually are a very, very fun couple to be with. Some of the girls might get a bit rowdy uh, in the Adonis Cabaret. They've got to keep an eye on that as well. Just make sure that there's no tears at the end of the uh, night. Hi, Neil, Christine. Steve, Steve hello. Nice to meet you, Christine. Brilliant, love the shirt. Thank you very much. Hi, Steve. Hello, Neil. Hi, I'm Neil. Steve. Nice Basically, welcome to Brighton. Thank you. And welcome to Red 7 Hen Weekend. Right. You're going to be in trouble. What's he doing here if it's hens? I'm either token cock amongst all those hens. There are two cocks here. It's always useful to have a spare, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. We're going to be guiding and making sure the Hen Weekend runs as smoothly as possible. When you say we, do you mean us as well? I mean you. But we are. I'm going to be your backbone. I'm going to be behind you. Brilliant. Every step okay. of the way. This doesn't involve me stripping and being covered in chocolate and licked clean. If you want to thing, do that again this weekend, Neil, that's fine by me. You can do anything. If it doesn't, he's going home. <laughs> You're going to make sure that their weekend runs as smoothly as possible. How many are there? Four or five? Uh, there are 20 in this group this weekend. Miss, I'm sure right. make Neil happy. Are you apprehensive about anything? <laughs> well, I've lived with her for 25 years. <laughs> so I'm frightened of nothing. They'll be wanting somebody young and trendy and whatever. I think they'll be absolutely um, gobsmacked with you guys, definitely. They're very, very uh, up for it people. I think they'll blend in pretty well with the hen group as well. Well, I'm worried <laughs> I might be ravished by 20 raucous hens. You should be saying Chance that. will be a fine thing. It's always good to get the first impressions, um, you know, right. And I think they'll do that. The minute we meet them, we'll be absolutely fine. Just sort of, till you meet somebody, you're never quite sure. And there are 20 of them, so they're going to outnumber us. Safety in numbers. For them. Now, after a few drinks, I'm sure we'll liven up. <laughs> Who you guys are then? Because you're not drinking on the what? weekend. We, we don't drink on the weekends. Are you serious? We've got to have a fun weekend with yeah. some go gorgeous girls and not allowed to drink. Because I'm a well-known well alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> I always describe myself as a recovered teetotaler. I think uh, Christine's naughty side is going to be a bit hard to contain. I'm not an alcoholic. Of course I'm not. But I do like a drink, especially when I'm having a good time. You see, I like, if I'm feeling depressed, you need a drink. And if you're having a good time, you want a drink. You want to share it. So. I, I'm not going to be able to do it. There will be spot checks on Christine's uh, drinking. We'll meet the group tomorrow. We're going to go along the Brighton seafront, um, looking at all the landmarks and giving them a guided tour, which you're going to do on the microphone. I'm not sure they'll be very good at the history of Brighton and things like that, because they are going to have to be doing commentaries on the boats. Even if I don't know what um, I'm looking at, I won't break the habit of a lifetime. I'll just make it up, slide by the seat of my pants, which is my preferred mode of transport. Always get on the bride's uh, good side and the chief bridesmaid's good side at the beginning of the weekend. Right, that's your job. That's right. your job, Neil. What's you her name? The fluffer for those yeah. two. The fluffer? The fluffer. <laughs> <laughs> What's a fluffer? Fluffer's someone who gets them going before the actual main event. Yeah. Okay. All right. I've never had a fluffer, I've just done it myself, so that's <laughs> really bad. Well, most of us don't need fluffers, you just get on with it. So, 
Um, basically... Not being red, are we? No, Just it's, the it's a reflection I know. of the Adonis Cabaret. Adonis Cabaret. Adonis Cabaret. Oh, I see. I think I can guess what that's going to be I think I can about. guess what yeah. that is, too. They make the chip and feel... The chippy... What are they called? The chip and Dales look small. Yes. <laughs> OK. Basically. I think they'll cope really well at the Adonis Cabaret. I actually think Neil and Christine will love it, um, Neil included, on that one. You'll absolutely love it. Yes. Neil's so, idea of heaven is 20 men... Uh, women. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I think they're going to be good reps, because they seem like they'll be up for anything. I've been on a sofa with five naked men. It's wonderful. One of the crescendos to one of the shows is one of the guys plays a felt piano with his... Plays a what? A felt piano with his man. A who's piano made of felt? Yes. Yeah, no, I thought maybe the felt yeah. piano was some modern thing that I didn't... You know. <laughs> but all the girls that... What about a duet? What, a bongo? Well, or? two of them. <laughs> I mean, I don't mean one they man. They play chopsticks, then. Well, like, yeah, they... <laughs> because it's such side-splitting yeah. fun. Yeah, they we sort just, of okay. themselves there. I can slip off to the bar, can I? No, no I can't. You can watch the girls no, and make really... sure they're having a good time. <laughs> OK. OK, I'm, I'm going to have to watch you all weekend, aren't I? You are, saying. like a hawk, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Worst case scenario, I think we might have to, like I say, keep an eye on Christine's drinking. No, I'm going to try and keep my eye on Steve as well. So that's 21 people we've got to look after, not 20. I don't want her falling off the side of the boat. And as long as they're fun girls, it's all that matters. And to be honest, girls on a head night are fun by definition, aren't they? I mean, they're out. They're out for a good time yeah. to start with, so the wind's behind us. Can we go skinny dipping if we want to? I'm not going to encourage that, Christine, but if you'd like... No, we don't want to frighten everybody <laughs> off the beach, do we? She's too <laughs> I think Neil's biggest job tomorrow is looking after 21 women. Whilst it might be easy to control 20 raucous women on their own, when they're led astray by Christine, that's really going to be beyond my capacity, I think. I've been trying for 30 years and failing. I think he's going to have a pretty hard job of containing that if she does get uh, a little bit tipsy and uh, fruity at the Adonis Cabaret. I think we'll get you two Red 7 t-shirts. Then. Right. If only you told us in advance, we wouldn't have had to pack all his sort of kind of kinky clubbing gear. The best case would be the girls are going to absolutely love Neil and Christine. We're so much older than they are that they'll, um, they'll probably just fall into line. Yeah. Well, think. we have been described as buttling red coats to the nation. Now we're red seven t-shirts to the nation. <laughs> what do you need to be a good rep? Do you think... I'd say you've both got it. You've got charisma, you're funny, intelligent. I would say you're both well... Potty. Traveled. I wonder if we're going to encounter any problems, anything a bit hard. Oh, no, darling. <laughs> Are you looking forward to it? Yeah. Perfectly organised by the sound of it. Yeah. We'll see how we can cock things up. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely to meet you guys in the hotel. Enjoy okay. it. Okay, thanks Michael very Steve. much. Cheerio, Steve. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Steve. It see you tomorrow. It? It, it is indeed. <laughs> Good luck. See you tomorrow. I never had a hen night anyway, so I'm looking forward to it. I mean a stag night. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're going to have a ball. Can't wait. It's going to be fabulous. It really is. I hope. Coming up... As a Red 7 rep, we don't drink on juice, do we? No, darling, I know, but you're not looking. <laughs> Saturday morning, it's Brighton, and we, the sun is out. We've been for a dip in the sea. Uh, we've had a good walk down the prom. Now we're going to see what the hens have laid overnight. <laughs> uh, just waiting for Neil and Christine to turn up now so we can introduce them to the hen group. We're outside the hotel. Hi, I'm Victoria. We've been Brighton for my hen weekend. We meet um, all my friends, family. When it's nice weather, the girls are all automatically in a good mood. So I think the day will start off very, very well. I'm Laura. I'm Chief Bridesmaid for my sister, Victoria's wedding. I'm hoping they'll be on top form. I think they will be, and the girls are quite a young group, so hopefully they'll know who they are. I'm nervous about today, but obviously because you don't really know what's going to be going on, whether like, you recognise a celebrity coming through the door. My ideal celebrity rep would be someone like Justin Timberlake. But my ideal celebrity rep, <laughs> um, possibly a guy that used to be in Hollyoaks many years ago. I don't even know his name, but he's very good looking. This is the moment <laughs> of truth. We're going to know in five seconds what they're like. You can su we'll sum them up as a group, wham. They've been out on the town, I think, tonight, so they should be ready to go. And we're ready to go, aren't we? Uh, absolutely. And the sun has put the bright into bright. Absolutely. Come on, let's Off go. Off we go. It's really good. Thank you. They'll be along in about two or three minutes, so uh, we'll do the introduction, see how the girls take them, and uh, the day will start from there. I think I've got an idea what's planned for today, but not definite. They haven't told me too much what's going on. No-one knows what's in store today. It's a complete surprise for everybody. Oh, well, we've got our yes. Red 7 T-shirts on. Company logo. Absolutely. Red 7, it's my new career. <laughs> well, you're telling you may get the sack after today. I think the T-shirt gives us an air of authority. And I think they're rather slimming, aren't they? I was looking at myself in the mirror before we came away. 
you need glasses. We've come to Brighton because it's one of the best places to come for a hen do. It's nice and cheerful, lots of seaside and sun. What I'm hoping is that they're going to be fun, lively, gutsy girls, go for it, just want to have a good time. Just really having a good girls weekend and having a good crack and a laugh and a few bevies really. Sneak a tipple, you must be joking. Of course not, I've got my t-shirt on now. She's got some tanks strapped to her back. Which, uh... Anyway with a straw coming round the front. <laughs> I got my wine box in here. <laughs> of course I'm going to have a drink, but don't tell anybody. Good morning. Hello, hello, hello. Are you all right? <laughs> we're doing OK. We've had Good a to see you. <laughs> we were a bit late to bed last night, but never mind. Likewise, but we're reps, and that's what we do. Exactly. Absolutely. So, yep. are we ready to uh, we meet the hens yes. and yep. get this day started? Absolutely. Excellent. Well, follow me. OK, yeah. off we go. My name's Steve. I'm the Red 7 rep. The celebrities that will be looking after your weekend are Neil and Christine Hamilton. Where's the bride? Come and say hello. And Frank and Chippendale have all gone down the swine flu, so you've got me. Now, are we going to have fun? Yes, and we're going to have capital fun. Yes. You all look fabulous. Have you had a good time so far? Right, are we ready to go on the boat? Oh, did you not know? Oh. Don't say any more, Christine. Uh, sorry. Oh, no, I've, I've got to share with you one really big problem straight away. And if I'd known this, I would never have agreed to do this whole escapade. I have been told that while I'm on duty, I can't drink. Oh. <laughs> I know, so you've all got to help me by slipping me a little something on the side when they're not watching. Right, come on, let's go. Excellent. Let's go. <laughs> well, I've definitely found out who they were. It's fine. Should be a laugh. I'm sure we'll manage to get her a couple of drinks. <laughs> It's not often I'm allowed out of the fingertip control. <laughs> the safety in numbers now, you've got to protect me. But Neil and I have been married 26 years, so it's a long time. But we met when we were 18, then I dumped him, went off and sowed my wild oats while he munched his Weetabix. Um, well, I don't know what he did. Happy I'm in seventh heaven here. <laughs> Is your other half doing the same sort of thing this weekend? They just went out uh, clubbing on the Friday and then strip joint on the Saturday. He gave <laughs> home <laughs> a few whip marks on his back. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I have got a six pack, but it's underneath. <laughs> Welcome to Bright Marina, round one. Here we go. I kind of had an idea that there was a bit of a celebrity, but I wasn't sure who it was going to be and I was a bit worried that it'd be somebody that I don't know, one of the Big Brother contestants, probably. But I think Neil and Christine would be great. Oh, don't worry, you will buy in. Right, guys, you, you can go that way if you want, but we've got to go this way. <laughs> Here we come. Right, count everybody on. One, two. Oh, careful. We're full now, darling. We haven't got room for you. Right, off we go. Excellent fun, to be honest. Christine and Neil coming here. Should be a good laugh. Well, yes, we knew who they were we, uh, when they walked through the door. It was lovely. Lots of hot weather and a bit of booze should be great. Any teetotalers on board, kindly leave the ship immediately. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Come on, you're wasting it. <laughs> Hello, boys. Way. Oh, there's a whole load of boys over there. I think there is. Thank you. There we go. Who hasn't got a glass? You got them both? There we are. See the full panorama of Brighton Seafront. You see up on the hill is Brighton's own version of the Eiffel Tower. I think that is, without doubt, the largest erection in Brighton. In front of there is the nudist beach. I can see the odd swimming costume, I think. Yeah. But that's where you go if you want to let it all hang out. Hey! Neil will tell you all about the pavilion and the Prince Regent. Here you are, darling, while I get the binoculars and look right. at the nudie beach. 200 years ago, Brighton was just a little fishing village by the sea until it was discovered by the man who was to become George IV, then the Prince Regent, son of George III. Neil and Christine are great fun. They're um, quite funny, the jokes are coming out. Where future George IV used to come with his pals for drunken weekends, so he anticipated hen weekends. Brighton's got its a lot of famous residents over the years. It's got some pretty famous ones now. Zoe Ball and um, Fat Boy live. They live a bit further down. Neil and Christine are doing absolutely fantastic, and the girls have really, really warm to them. They're doing a great job on the uh, loudspeaker, as you can hear, and they're giving the girls a guided tour of Brighton. So I think it's going very, very well. Whoops! 
Oops, hang on, there we go. As Oops. a Red 7 rep, we don't drink on juicy, do we? No, darling, I know, no. but you're not looking. <laughs> I think just to calm her nerves, I think we're going to let her have a cheeky one. Now, this isn't a regular thing. I'm going to let this one go, but she's not going to have any more. A little bit further down is the Grand Hotel. Yes? Yeah. He wants to grab it again. Yes. <laughs> well, lucky me. And next to the Grand Hotel is the Metropole. I came to the Conservative Party conference here in 1971, and I managed to smuggle Christine into my room. Yes! Oh, anyway, sex hasn't been invented. <laughs> <laughs> Despite all these ridiculous strictures that I wasn't allowed to drink, I've managed it and we're having a wonderful time. They are having a marvelous They're time. a great gang, they really are. They're a super lot and they're just here to have a good time and we're here to have a good time and make sure that they have a good time. I think I remember saying, I don't remember a lot now because I've had a few glasses, but I think I remember saying that we would know in an instant whether they were going to be fun or not. And I was right, we did. And as soon as we met them, I thought, yep, this lot's going to be great. Come on, darlings, whose glass is empty? Uh, Neil's just sitting on the boat getting pissed, basically. So it's about interaction with the group. I'm not sitting there getting pissed with the girls. <laughs> We're doing I've all right. Caught, I've already caught Christine having a cheeky one. I'm sure she's going to have a couple I've had of... a cheeky too. Are Don't we all right? That, Christine. Yeah. I think he's trying to tell you that we're neglecting you. You're not. No. Thank you. Come on, hurry up with that. Honestly, men are so hopeless. I don't want to pop my cork. No, you don't. No, we don't like men who pop their cork. No, don't. We're all going to swim home together from here. Guinea dipping isn't a word I'd apply to Neil or me. Fatty dipping. Fatty dipping is what we do. We're going to be picking you up from the hotel later on, and then we're going to the male strippy pasty Adonis Cabaret. <laughs> anyway, have you all had a good time? Yeah. Yes, jolly good. It was excellent. It was great fun, great company, really funny, yes. And I think Christine and Neil are ideal for doing this sort of thing. Right. Right. How do we think it's going so far? How do well, you think it's going? How was it for you? I let a cheeky one go. Yeah, yeah. OK. A cheeky four, on the other hand, a five, is pushing the boat. OK, no. all right. I don't think I need to pick up anything on what you're doing. Well, do you're doing it seriously. Popping and so so. drinking, Christine. Everything's... <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Because it made her relate to us. We was drinking it, so why shouldn't she? And she wasn't over the top. It was excellent. They all could see it'd be great. I think they keep getting told off for getting a bit slack on the repping, but yeah, they're doing great though. They're really good fun. They are doing very, very well. The group have warmed to them really, really well as well, so it's going to be an easy weekend, I think. The uh, information that Neil was giving for the Brighton coastline was uh, all correct, so I was very impressed with that. And they seem like a very, very good couple to be with. I am looking forward to this evening immensely. It should be a great night. If it's like, like this afternoon, it'd be lovely. Well, we've now come back to the girls' hotel, and we are going to sweep them off to the Adonis Club, where we're all going to have a yep. ball. Absolutely fantabulous evening. Absolutely. Whoa, we're really up for it. <laughs> Oh, don't you look fantastic? For you to swear. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, crumbs. I'm not, a, I'm not a hen, I'm a cop. Oh, dear. There we are. Very cool. Does that... Right, have we got everybody? <laughs> Where is the camera? Woo! Here we go, Adonis, here we come. Say we have on a Saturday night. Thank you. <laughs> come on. Here we go, hey! <laughs> Ladies, welcome to Adonis Cabaret! Well, Neil and Christine have been good sports up till now, but are they ready for what awaits them at the Adonis Cabaret? <laughs> Christine's faces were a picture in the Adonis Cabaret and I hope they had a really good night. One, two, three, go! Christine see if uh, she can get Neil to do that at home for her, but otherwise not so much. Come on, 
on Smile Christine. That's more like it. Christine, they've been a great addition to the group today. They've been really, really lovely. They've chatted to all the mums as well as all the young ones and they've really got involved and made us laugh. Anyway, have you had a good night? Lovely. Yeah, exactly. good night. The day's been absolutely fantastic. Boat trip was brilliant and the evenings have been even better. I think they did a great job, both of them, for the days. They've done really well. It's been an excellent day. We've thoroughly enjoyed every minute of it. It's been absolutely wonderful. Oh, well done. We've had a wonderful time. Thank mm. you for letting us share it. Christine and Neil have been excellent fun today. We've had a right good laugh from really good, nice people. Oh. Thank you very much, Chris. Yeah. Oh, my ears are never going to... I know. I, can't. I think they thought the cabaret was a little bit too loud because um, they looked like they were in pain for a little bit and then, obviously, as the stripper was removing more of his clothes, Neil's face, yeah, looked like he really wanted the ground to open up and swallow him whole. Oh. I should now expect Neil to dance like that for me. <laughs> I think Christine enjoyed it more. How do you think you guys did as reps for Red Seven? Oh, ten. Ten. Neil? Ten. Whatever she says. Absolutely. <laughs> I think they've had a fabulous time and they yeah. seem to have enjoyed this evening, the Adonis, don't they? My overall mark for you guys from the weekend will be eight out of ten. Ooh. What's better than I thought? Yeah. Which is very, very is good. Is that good for it's the first day? Steve gave us eight out of ten. A bit disappointing, actually. I marked them down um, purely because of Christine's drinking on the boat. Well, he said he hadn't marked me down too much because I had yeah. a few drinks on the boat, but I think he did. I think he took a bit of a dim yeah. view of that. They mingled with the girls really, really well. They got on side with them. They made sure that they had a good time. They were always looking after them, which are the main qualities of being a Red 7 rep. Red 7 made it very easy for us. The sunshine was there, the boat, yeah. the Adonis Cabaret. I think they've done a fantastic job. Um, and and I would definitely love them to rep any hen or stag weekend that Red 7 organised. It was definitely the perfect hen do. It will be one to be remembered for many, many years. Yeah, perfect hen do. It's brilliant. Mm, <laughs> thank you. Steve, may I say it's Steve, been a... Well, it's been a great time. Oh. Oh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> to work with you two. It's been an absolute pleasure, guys. You, you will qualify as Red 7 reps. No. Yippee! Okay. Hooray. So we can keep the T-shirts. Right, one more high five. Hey, right. <laughs> Off we go. Betty oh, bye. See you later. Bye. Next time on Celebrity Hens and Stags, Blazing Squad's Kenzie gets down and dirty with some dancing hens. And will Kenzie end up regretting the night?